Hi, this is Richard Quack here. Welcome to another session of my Facebook Live. In today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is, most people worry themselves to death. All right, this is a very interesting topic. And it is true with regards to a lot of people outside there. All right, now, a lot of people worry for nothing, actually, you know. And what is worry in the first place? Worry, actually, when you foresee something bad that is going to happen to you, all right? You are, you are seeing something bad that's going to happen to you in, to, in the future, so therefore, you worry, okay? That is what worry is about. Now, let me explain to you, there are three blocks of time, all right? What we have is now, the present moment, all right? This is the present moment. Where you are today, where are you now watching this uh, Facebook Live? That is your present moment. You can hear the sound of the aircon, you can feel the air, uh, warm or cold, you know, and so on. You can smell, you know, uh, uh, the room and so on. So basically, the present moment is the time that we should be in most of the time because the present moment is the point of creation. There's no other time except for now, the present moment, okay? That is one block of time. The other block of time is the past, all right? Now, when you dwell into the past, you know what happened? The past is full of guilt, resentment, disappointment, and so on, right? Because when you look into the past, this is the emotion that you're going to get because a lot of things in the past is what you do not like, all right? So disappointment, guilt, resentment, and so on are all in the past. So when you go back to the past, this is what emotion that you are going to have, all right? The other block of time is the future. Now, the future is not here yet, but when you go into the future, you know what happened? You have fear, all right? The future is full of fear and worry because why? The future holds things that are uncertain, all right? You do not know whether you're still going to keep your job. You do not know whether you're going to be able to send your children for good education and so on. All right, so basically the future is full of fear and worry. So when you are saying that you are worried, that means you're thinking about the future. That's it, all right? So the best thing for you is to be in the present moment, all right? So, but we are talking about fear today, all right? No, we're talking about uh, worry today, okay? Now, do you realize that we are the only creature, all right, on the planet that worry ourselves to death? Really, we are the only creature on earth that worry ourselves to death. All right, have you seen a stray dog on the street or not? All right, the stray dog, all right, doesn't know where to eat, what food to eat, where to sleep, and so on. But the dog does not look worried whatsoever. Why? Because the dog knows that at the end of the day, it will get food, it will be able to find a place to sleep. All right, so that's why the dog do not worry. All right, now, of course, the dog don't have thinking like us, they don't have a thought, they are based on instinct, that's why they do not worry. But the problem is that we got our mind and we use it the wrong way, okay? We use our mind to worry most of the time, all right? Now, if you look at the tree outside there, look at the tree, all right? If the wind is very strong blowing at the tree, all right, the tree might even swing here left and right, all right? And the leaves might blow here and there, but the tree is not worried whatsoever because the tree is there, stuck firm to the ground, all right? So there is no worry in nature. The only thing that worry a lot is us human. We worry ourselves to death. That is the truth. Are you with me? And you must understand this also. All right. Whatever we worry about most of the time do not happen. Isn't it true? You worry about a lot of things and most of the time it does not happen. So you waste your energy on worrying for nothing. All right. You waste your time worrying for nothing. Okay, so basically, one of the things that you should do from today onward is to get rid of the habit of worrying. Worrying is nothing good. It's, going, it's not going to bring you to success. It's not going to bring you to good health and so on. All right, now let's have a look at uh, uh, problems with worry. All right, what are the problems when you worry? Number one, I believe that when you worry, you don't have clarity in your mind because you cannot think properly. All right, when you're worried, you're stressed up, you cannot think properly, so you don't have clarity in your mind. And you and I know that you want to be successful, you got to have clarity in your mind. Your mind should be clear and focused, all right, and know what you want. So basically, when you worry, you don't have a clarity in your mind, okay? The other thing is that when you are worried, you are in survival mode, all right? You're in survival mode, because why? When It's just example, when you see a tiger outside there, all right, you get worried, you're in survival mode. 
Okay, survival mode, whether to fight or to flight. All right, fight or flight. That is, uh, you know, you're activating your reptile brain. All right, your reptile brain is fight or flight. That's it. So basically, you know, when you are worried, you are in survival mode. And in survival mode, you know, it's not going to be very good. All right, because you're focusing all your energy on survival. All right. And the other thing is that when you are worried, you are releasing the hormone which is very bad. This is the hormone is called cortisol. All right, and this hormone is not good for your body. All right. So basically, uh, when you worry, you are in survival mode and you activate the reptile brain. All right. The other thing is that when you worry, you have a lot of health problem. Do you realize that a lot of health problem, uh, sicknesses and so on, diseases are all caused because of worry. All right. Now, a lot of people say that, you know, oh, uh, uh, you know, uh, heart problem and so on because of, uh, you know, blockage, because of uh, what you call cholesterol and so on. Actually, it's not true. It's not cholesterol that causes all the problem. The problem is what? When you have worry, all right, it will cause stress in your body. It will cause stress in your body. Don't you think so? When you worry, it will, you'll be stressed up, all right? And then when you are stressed up, it causes inflammation in your body. When inflammation happens, then a lot of health challenges will happen, all right? Now, when you talk about worry and stress, it's not only, you know, a uh, 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 physical stress and so on, but also mental as well. Mental as well, all right? When you uh, think about something bad that's going to happen, you become very stressful. In fact, it's more dangerous, you know? And, you know, stress is one of the main cause of health problem because stress will lead to inflammation and inflammation will cause a lot of problems like heart problem even cancer for that matter inflammation is it is not very good for you okay so basically try to get rid of worry all right i know it's not easy but you have to uh, 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 know that worry is no good for you okay now let's have a look at how to avoid worry how to get rid of worry all right number one okay you observe when you get worried observe it observe it but don't judge all right Observation is strength. That means when you observe, when you are worried, you observe yourself. Why are you worried about it? What is the problem and so on? Don't judge whether it's right or wrong because judgment is weakness. Observation is strength. When you observe why you worry all the time, then with all the focus on it, you know, when you observe, you know, in due time, it will dissolve by itself. It will dissolve by itself. So basically, you got to observe yourself, all right? Observation is strength. Remember, when you are worried, then you got to think to yourself, why am I worried? Because of what? But don't judge whether it's right or wrong, good or bad, all right? Just observe, that's all. And when you have observation on that worry in the future, you know, you slowly, uh, the worry will slowly uh, evaporate by itself, okay? The other thing is that know that worry is a bad habit. Don't you think so? It's a bad habit and is it good for you? It's not good for you. So you should know that Worrying is not good for you and for your health. So you got to consciously try to get rid of worry. All right, use your willpower, your conscious, you know, uh, being to get rid of worry. Okay, when you're worried, then tell yourself, you know, why am I worrying? Nothing is going to happen. All right, because everything is going to be all right. Everything is okay. So accept and surrender. Like I say, you know, ev everything happened for a reason. Just accept and surrender and know that worry will not benefit you whatsoever. All right? It will not benefit you whatsoever. The other thing is that, you know, if you want to get rid of worry, like I said just now, three blocks of time, all right? When you want to get rid of worry, be in the present moment. Be in the present moment. That means put yourself in the present moment now. In the now all the time. That means observe where you are now, probably in your room, okay? Observe and uh, hear the sound of the aircon, you know, feel the lighting, smell the environment in your room and so on. So basically, that is being in the present moment because the present moment is the only time that you have. All right. Now, let me ask you a question, all right? In this present moment now, do you have any worry? There's no worry. All right, there's no worry. Worry happens in the future, all right? When you focus into the future, then you get worried. Worried for nothing, all right? So the thing is that, you know, you got to get worry out of your life and think about it you know we are the only creature on earth that worry ourselves to death all right because we, we we have a mind but the problem we use our mind incorrectly all right 
unlike the animals, all right, they don't have mind, they don't have thought, they only have instinct. That's why they don't have to worry, all right? And they know that it will be taken care of. Whether the stray dog is on the street, nobody to take care, but you will find food, the dog will find food, the dog will find a place to sleep. So there's no worry whatsoever. But we humans are the only uh, species that worry ourselves to death, all right? So basically, that's my sharing for today. I hope you learned something. Let me summarize for you. All right, what is worry? Worry actually is what, uh, when you foresee something bad that is going to happen to you in the future. That is what worry is about. And then don't forget that three blocks of time, okay? The present moment, the past, and the future. Worry and fear is all in the future. All right, so be in the present moment. Don't go back to the past because past will be filled of disappointment, resentment, anger, and so on, okay? Um, you know, problems with worry, you have no clarity of mind, uh, you are in the survival mode, all right, and also uh, it leads to health problem because it leads to inflammation, okay, and how to get rid of worry, very simple, all right, to get rid of worry, you got to observe when you are worried, then at that moment in time, observe why are you worried, is it helping me or not, don't make any judgment and so on, all right, because uh, observation is strength, is strength. Judgment is weakness. Never use judgment, okay? The other thing is that know that worry is a bad habit. You can get rid of the bad habit. Of course, it takes uh, a conscious choice, you know, to get rid of the habit of worrying, all right? And of course, the other thing is, you know, if you want to get rid of worry, be in the present moment, all right? Be in the present moment. Put yourself in the present moment. And I would suggest that, you know, uh, do a bit of meditation because when you do some sort of meditation, you are in the present moment, your worry will go off. Because ask yourself, frankly speaking, you know, now, now, in the present moment, do you have any worry? No, there's no worry whatsoever because worry is always in the future. All right? And remember this. Whatever you worry about, most of them will not happen. All right? Look at it in your life. Most of the things you worry about, you're wasting your time worrying for nothing because nothing is going to happen. All right? So, I hope you learned something here. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. I appreciate your comment. All right, because why? Uh, uh, social media is all about engagement. All right, please feel free to uh, uh, comment and I will respond to your comment. That's for sure. Okay, so uh, I appreciate your time that you spend with me here. All right, and I'll see you again on Friday for another session of my Facebook Live. Okay, so this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.